Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and woo! Amberlynn and or her exes are keeping me busy, running me ragged, working me overtime. No, they're not working me overtime. I respect my boundaries. I don't work when I don't want to. But also, uh, this is Poe. Oh, he's he's moving now, so maybe you can see him. Um, and just as like, maybe, maybe I'll start doing a weekly reminder that just because Poe's sitting here doesn't mean anything's wrong with Judy. Folks always get really worried in the comments and I, I don't know I don't want to keep repeating myself because I'm sure if you watch every single video that's like mildly annoying but <laughs> if you don't watch every single video sometimes Poe just likes to hang out there a lot when I'm just sitting in here working uh, this morning I've been catching up on Amber Lynn videos so he's just been sitting back there with me and Judy's favorite spot to sit in our home is on the couch in the living room and if he's already there, I don't bother her or make her move here. But she is doing fine. She's in good health. She just isn't in every video. Uh, although she's been in videos, like even just as recently as last week. So uh, go check those out if you're concerned about her or you miss seeing her cute little face. But anyways, uh, today we have a lot to cover. Uh, I want to share an update from Becky on her community tab post of her YouTube channel. I want to give a recap of the two videos that I I'm not going to live react to, and by live react, I mean like right here in real time with you, except not in real time for you. I don't know why I'm making that so complicated. And then we're gonna react to the video that Amberlynn literally posted 40 minutes ago as of me filming this right now in this moment. So I will leave timestamps as always for you down below so you can skip around to the part of the video that you want to know the most about. Otherwise, feel free to watch the whole video and enjoy. So so the first thing I want to do is give you an update from Becky on the heels of Amber Lynn talking on Destiny's live stream about Becky. If you recall, Destiny called Amber Lynn on a live stream. Amber Lynn claimed she didn't know that she was on the live stream <laughs> and during that time, in addition to talking about Destiny's brother, Destiny's father, she also talked a little bit about Becky, including saying that nobody really knows what Becky put her through. And if you haven't kept up with Becky or don't follow Becky's YouTube channel and haven't seen the community tab post, two weeks ago, Becky actually did make a community tab post just in general, talking about how she'd been going through a lot mentally, had even been in the hospital for a mental breakdown and things like that, and that it just hasn't been a good time for her when it comes to dealing with her mental health, and that's why she hasn't really bothered coming online, uh, posting YouTube videos or things like that, because she's just trying to work through all of those things, which seems like a really healthy thing to do, a really healthy boundary, and, and I support her in wanting to do that. So about 10 hours ago from when I'm filming this right now, uh, she made a new community tab post in response to Amberlynn talking about her and Destiny's live stream. And this is what Becky had to say. OMG, what I put her through? She is so delusional. Maybe she wants me to tell everyone what she put me through and all my close family and friends. I'm not the only person Amber has done wrong. She's pushing me, you guys, and I am not in the mental headspace to deal with her. Like, I don't even want to waste a second of my time on her because she's not worth it, but she gave me and quite a few other people in my life drama. I don't talk to Destiny much, but she offered to do a live. Amber talking about what I supposedly did to her, maybe we should compare. Maybe I should come out with everything. Or maybe I should let nature take its course for a person like Amber. Whatever shall I do? And honestly, I for real, for real understand where Becky's coming from with this post. I'm sure it must be really aggravating that after you agreed to not discuss each other in public on a public platform that Amberlynn decided to talk shit on Destiny's live stream. Because if you didn't know, Becky and Amberlynn both very publicly said, hey, we're both moving forward, not going to talk about one another. 
and that's on that, which seems like a really healthy boundary, but you know, Amberlynn and boundaries <laughs> can't help herself and can't help but throw people under the bus, talk shit about people when it comes to like making her narrative the correct one. I honestly, I think for, for Becky's well-being and mental health, it seems like this is not a good time for her and I think she'd probably continue to be better off like not engaging in this, honestly, truly. But I understand why she would want to or why she would in the moment with all of her feelings and emotions surrounding Amber want to retaliate because that's what Amber does. That's what she did. That's that's how Amber Lynn is treating Becky in this situation. Like, Becky doesn't mean anything to her. Becky, at this point, is just, like, a way to one-up somebody, a way to, uh, you know, try to argue with destiny, things like that. So Amber Lynn honestly better hope that Becky doesn't do anything or doesn't come out or doesn't go on a live stream with destiny because that phone call live stream that Amber Lynn did with destiny already was damaging enough to Amber Lynn. Like, I don't know how much she's gonna recover from Becky coming out because here's the thing. People have a lot of feelings about destiny and like, as we've pointed out and noted many times, or at least as I've pointed out and noted many times, Destiny's not a great person in general, like has made some sussy choices, but like Becky overall, when it comes to this corner of the internet, is probably the, the, the girlfriend partner that the internet has had the most empathy and sympathy for cares the most about. Becky actually, like, for a while was doing YouTube videos where she was showing her life and people were, like, actually appreciating it, supporting it, sans Amber. Like, they they wanted to engage with Becky and know more about what was happening in Becky's life. It's very different than Destiny coming out in the sense that, like, yes, Destiny has some truths to tell about Amberlynn that people are obviously eating up, but, like, people don't have that same, like, emotional connection with Destiny as they do with Becky. Anyways, I hope the best for Becky. I hope that whatever she decides to do, she does it with her mental health in mind. It seems like she really is going through a lot. So I hope the best for her and uh, Amberlynn better hope that Becky doesn't come out and tell some truths about her because Amberlynn will not recover from that. The next thing I want to do is briefly go over the two videos that I am not reacting to that I missed that one happened on Saturday, the other one happened yesterday when I was still covering the Destiny live stream call. And good news, there wasn't too much that we missed, y'all. <laughs> there wasn't too, I mean, I would be able to transform the content and make it entertaining, but Plot-wise, nothing that happened in those two videos is probably going to greatly affect the storyline, but there are a couple things I want to know. So the first video she posted was a video called Everything I Ate Today at 500 Pounds and then some other nonsense after it. Like, I think she got a new air fryer and included that in the title. The general, like, concept of this vlog was just her showing what she ate all day. She, like, generally also discussed weighing in and mentioned that she's not going to do weigh-ins every day, but I think what she means by that is she herself is going to do weigh-ins every day. She's just not going to share weigh-ins every day with us because that day she weighed herself and she gained 0.6 pounds, which like we all know could literally be a shit for her. <laughs> like it could literally take a shit and probably lose that 0.6 pounds. And during a video where she is showing her food, everything she ate, she decides to address how in the past she said that people commenting on her food was triggering to her. I've been showing a lot of my food and I know I've said in the past that like, showing my food and like what people say about my food is triggering. But I realized that like, when I know that I'm on track and I'm doing right, I don't care what people say. I literally don't care. Humans are a walking contradiction. Who we are an hour ago, a year ago is different. Our opinions change constantly. And one minute I care and one minute I don't. And I realized that when I'm eating healthy or what I consider healthy or is good for my body or makes me feel good in a healthy way, not a bad way. Um, I don't care what people say. And by the past, she literally means like last week. It was a week ago that she said that in the video, just to be clear, just so we're all on the same page. 
And the fact that she says that it's when she knows that she's on track that it doesn't bother her, that leads me to the question of, okay, so when you've claimed that you were on track in the recent past, you weren't really on track because it bothered you. That's what you're telling me. That's what that's what I'm getting from that message. And also, as she points out, opinions obviously do change over time. Like, I, my opinion has changed since the very beginning of me doing a YouTube channel. I'm sure I don't think the same as I did about every single thing that I did when I first started doing YouTube. But that's several years of time passing, just for the record, not a week. And it's because your opinion changes like that on a day-to-day -day basis that people can't take you seriously. We can't take you seriously and we we don't believe the things that you're saying. This is where these issues of trust come in, bestie. And the only other thing that I want to note is that she, I don't know where she's getting these little like idioms that she's saying <laughs> on her channel, but that raw veggie and cheese cottage cheese platter had her feeling fuller than a tick on a dog or something. All right, you guys, so this is my finished plea. I'm as full as a chick on a dog. I could tell you that. So then the video she posted yesterday was called having lung problems and something about like, I don't know, discrimination in the medical field or something. Uh, basically, the thing that you need to take away from this particular video is just that she discusses at length that she has some lung problems that have continued with her since the last time that she had lung problems where she received several misdiagnoses and things like that. Well, she called them a misdiagnosis. I, I think at the time we discussed how like diagnoses change as you get more information, but neither here nor there. I think it's actually both here and there. And apparently this lung pain, lung problems has persisted and just conveniently, the day after she has this whole messy ass live stream with Destiny, she decides she needs to tell us about it, even though it's been going on for a while. Like, she literally says, this is Sunday. I'm filming on Sunday. So it's the day after that live stream, and now all of a sudden, the most important thing for her to address, not the the comments she made about Destiny's brother, Destiny's dad, not the comments about Becky. Not gonna address any of those. Let me just, like, distract you with a little bit of uh, health problems and hope that you just forget that that stuff with Destiny happened. So yeah, certainly there were other things that happened in both of those videos, but I think that those are the most probably pertinent things, or at least the things that I felt like I wanted to comment on when it comes to like the food triggering her thing, because that's something I've continued to bring up about how she is showing her food, even though allegedly that triggers her. It's all stupid. It's all dumb. But I felt like all of those things might impact or have an influence on what we are about to watch today. So let's get to today's video. Today's video is called Weight Loss Surgery Update. Let's talk mukbangs and feeders. Bar vlog. So I think hopefully we're going to get a, a clue as to what is actually happened with her weight loss surgeon and her decision to go through or not go through with weight loss surgery. You know, at this point, so many people have speculated already that she got denied this, that, the other because she's been vague about it. I think she really missed her opportunity to just like be upfront about whatever is happening or going on from the beginning because what she has instead allowed to do is speculation has just been running rampant and everybody has their own opinion on it now and I don't even know if it matters what she says because I imagine people already have made up their own mind <laughs> with what has gone on for Amber Lynn. And, you know, that, that sucks. Like, like she says a lot, people do often just, like, run with their own version of the rumors or speculation that they believe but also, she's been teasing out that something was going on with her weight loss surgery, trying to build up some kind of interest in it, that she really missed the mark and could have just had a, a hugely viewed video a long time ago if she would have just said it to begin with. So, anyways, let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? So I'm fine. 
I'm fine, thanks for asking. So today I said in my last vlog how I have a lot of important phone calls to make. So uh, I'm gonna be making those. So what is this? I'm about to what is this editing from like these different angles? Why did she include that? Interesting. I call the place where I got my chest x-ray done. Uh-huh. Um, I got it done like a week ago. We got it. Um, we gotta check out these lungs, make sure they're good. I, that, that is, okay, so that is something I didn't cover. She has all of these plans for how she's gonna address her, her lung situation type of deal, uh, which includes, I think, contacting the chest x-ray people, like she just said, contacting a lung specialist that I'm sure she won't believe, and also contacting her primary care physician. Um, so I'm gonna get my results for that because I'm curious to see what they say. So... I'm gonna do that, that's the first thing. Okay. okay, so I called, and unfortunately, I have to send an email asking to be part of their portal to get my results because I guess they can't tell me over the phone. So I'm gonna do that, which I'm doing right now. Are you not? <laughs> Wait, are you, I mean, I know this is probably separate from, like, your primary care physician, but I don't understand why she's, like, acting like she's never heard of the concept of, like, medical information being shared over a, like, secure portal situation type of deal. Like, most medical providers do that these days. I'm also confused, I'm, I might be misunderstanding what these results are, but I thought that she was just... Like, these were old chest x-rays or something that she was getting or looking for or requesting. So I don't understand why you didn't already have access to that somewhere. Or, or did you just get this chest x-ray and never request to see it or, like, see the results of it? Now I'm just confused. Maybe, maybe I should have paid closer attention to the last video. On my hair laptop. And then... I am going to call um, a lung specialist, uh -huh. which is like a pulmonary. A pulmonary. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to pronounce it, but it's like a pulmonary moment. A pulmonary. So call <laughs> a pulmonary moment. She has no idea what she's doing. <laughs> oh, and see if I need a referral. So that's my next step. And well, also the email is sent. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, another update. Um, I called the lung specialist, uh -huh. and I was right. You do need a referral. See, okay, this is what I was just about to say, but stop myself because I didn't want to pause too soon. But I'll understand why you wouldn't just call your primary care physician to begin with to say, hey, can I get a referral for this? Because your primary care physician is already aware of your previous lung issues. So I feel like why would you not be like, Hey, I think I want to see a lung specialist. Can you refer me to somebody? What are some other things you might suggest? Like, it's just so ass backwards to me that, that her first step is going to the lung specialist first. Oh, Amberlynn. Which I thought, but if I could skip a step or two, I'm definitely going to do that. Oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Queen Amberlynn, queen of trying to skip steps and get the results she wants. Queen. Also, why would you... The thing I don't get, though. I mean, I get the idea that you want to, like, just get to the answer you want faster. But what I don't understand is what is the motive for, like, skipping the primary care physician? Because she also talked, and this is not the first time she's done it, but in that video where she's talking about her lung issues, she talked at length about how much she loves her primary care physician and how much she trusts her primary care physician, which is great. I'm glad she has that relationship. But if you have that great relationship, why would you want to skip the step where you get their expert advice on what you should do? You know? That 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 doesn't make any sense to me. That that part really doesn't. Like why would you want to avoid that? Wouldn't you want to ask the the healthcare expert you trust before just going and talking to a random lung specialist? So I just actually called my primary care doctor and I made an appointment. Work. So I have that set up. Good. It is kind of, it's not like far away, um, but I feel like it's not soon enough for me. And so I think that, you know, in a few days I'm gonna call and see if there's a closer appointment because I know like people cancel and stuff. 
which I also had me do in the past. So I'm definitely gonna uh, do that because I just, I really want to get this going. Of course. Get this figured out. Of course. I know we tried last year to get it figured out and after tons and tons of tests, we thought we found what was wrong. I mean, I don't doubt that she's having these problems. I really don't. I really truly do not doubt it. I just think it's uh, interesting, fascinating, convenient that she's deciding to deal with it all right now after this like heinous situation type of deal just happened on Destiny's live stream. And turns out, I think we were all wrong. <laughs> You know, doctors aren't robots, they're not perfect, they're amazing and they are heroes, but um, we do have to be realistic. And yeah, so anyways, <laughs> I am waiting for a phone call. Okay. A very, very special phone call. From who? For what? I'm also waiting for them to email me back. Um, I had to fill out another paper. Um, who is them? So we'll see. Because I want to get my results. Oh, from that, from the chest x-ray. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, hello. It's been a hot minute since I've talked to y'all. And I just want to let you guys know that, like, the more I do this fasting thing, the easier it's becoming. Because oh, good for you. I haven't eaten in 16 and a half I haven't hours, eaten? And I feel fine. Like, I, I haven't so ate? Like, at all. So, kind That of was something from the Destiny live stream that I didn't, um... I didn't include in, like, my recap because there's so many other things to talk about. <laughs> but, but her and Destiny going back and forth trying to figure out if they were supposed to say ate or eaten also killed me. Like I said, Kentucky, Kentucky's given the best and brightest lesbians for the world's entertainment, and I'm not mad about it. I'm kind of loving that. And that brings me into the next thing uh, that what's I want to talk to you guys about is, like calorie counting. Girl, so what is I noticed this? when I was calorie counting the first couple days, um, I, uh, all the food that I'm eating I, is like... I have to tell you, I've watched Amberlynn for so, 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 so long at this point. The number of epiphanies she's had about calorie counting... <laughs> it's just like, I don't know how many new things you can learn or understand about the concept of calorie counting at this point, you know? Like, you've done it off and on so many times. Like, what what more could you learn at this point that you haven't already? I feel like if there's something out there for you to learn about calorie counting at this point, it's too late. You're not going to learn it if you haven't learned it by now. So filling, and it's, like, nutritious, and it's it's not a bunch of, like, processed stuff. So I'm finding myself becoming like super full, super fast. And okay, like I work. was forcing myself to like reach my calorie goal. Cause my calorie goal originally was 2000 and I haven't even eaten 2000 calories. I, so Now I know she didn't just combine ate and eaten. Did she say eaten? <laughs> Did she just say eaten? Wait, let me go back. Maybe I misheard. Asked and like I was forcing myself to like reach my calorie goal because my calorie goal originally was 2000 and I haven't even eaten 2000 calories. Eaten, she said. <laughs> oh. Listen, listen, I, that has to be trolling, right? I I really don't care how people say anything, and that's a way that I have changed over time on YouTube. I used to be a lot more of a critic about the way that she said things and, uh, you know, mocked the way that she said things. And when it's all said and done, like, I really feel like as long as I know what you're trying to talk about then that's all that matters. Like, as long as I can tell from the context of the words around it, what you're trying to communicate, that's all that matters. But that is funny. Aiden? I haven't even eaten anything today. Oh, my God. So, I realize that I'm not going to count calories because when you stop all the processed food, like, <sighs> not all that this. processed food has, <laughs> not literally this. set your brain on fire. Like, it has been proven. I'm not even gonna I've come to this epiphany that I don't I don't even have to count calories I'm not like other girls y'all don't understand nutrition the way that I do like doesn't understand hunger cues <sighs> full cues etc so by eating all this like raw veggies especially and just like 
good proteins and just whole foods. Like, obviously, whole, I'm not perfect. Whole but foods? But eating all these things, it definitely... She's like, I'm eating just, like, whole natural foods. She eats literal chicken sausage, which is processed girly, and also, like... If I'm recalling from the last uh, video you I watched, you use like the PB2 powder, which is not like, definitely is still a processed food. <laughs> so like, get out of here. Helps with like my hunger cues. It helps with my full cues. My brain isn't like on fire because of all the processed food. So it's like, I have been forcing that's, myself to eat. That's what processed food does. It goes up into your brain and just sets it ablaze. <laughs> just sets it on fire when i don't want to like force myself to eat i want to just like listen to my body so this is me saying that i am no longer counting calories wow. because it's just it doesn't the make epiphany sense at this time right now. epiphany um, len in any sort of way is that is that what your dietitian from your weight loss surgeon would suggest i mean i know we're not even acting like that ever happened now but <laughs> <laughs> how far we've come from like literally a week or two ago where she was claiming that her dietitian said that she was one of the best patients they'd ever had best patient most prepared for weight loss surgery ever i do want to say one more thing before i end this What's clip that? i'm not counting calories but i am paying attention to them and feline even asked me the other night she was like what is like the difference but i think she understands yeah, now too. i know i i sure don't i sure don't understand the difference tell me it's like say i'm having steak i want to look at the calories and i want to know how many calories are in a serving because uh -huh. that's a good example of like how easy it is to like eat a ton of calories because steak is so much like higher in calories versus like chicken or tilapia especially mm -hmm. so it's like paying attention and like counting them are two different things but so it's only when you bring in math and you you add up and count the number of calories that your your brain starts on fire if you're just like paying attention to them that's totally different you guys it's not going to set your your brain ablaze and no way it's not going to happen yeah i had to share that but i'm still acknowledging what is going into my she body she is so like goofy <laughs> way am I going to overdo it, especially because I'm eating so many, like, whole foods and things that just make but, me feel better. But if you're not overall, like, concerned about a number of calories that's going into your body, then, like, what's the point of paying attention to the number of calories? And I think, like, I think the point is, is that you're still concerned about how many calories you're consuming. She doesn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> she really fucking does it. Okay, you guys, so I have a grocery haul. Um, Ooh, Katie's this is best. Just some chicken thighs. And then two things of ground turkey. Work. Some tostadas. Two things of traditional refried beans. <laughs> Love her saying, like, oh, I'm eating, I'm eating just raw, natural foods. And then here's, here's a grocery haul with two cans of processed refried beans. I've got some <clears throat> carrots here. Uh huh. Work. Dip them in my mustard and cottage cheese. <laughs> I've been really Ooh, look at liking these, potato these potatoes, stir fry type things. And oh yeah, that is also very tragic. She she cooks some potatoes in a in a skillet with some steak and some Brussels sprouts and called it stir fry. And I'm like, Bessie, I don't think you understand what stir fry is. <laughs> Serving is only 70 calories. So depending on how hungry I am. Hungry? I usually have a serving or like a serving and a half. Oh my so. God. I just realized I'm not wearing any earrings. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I don't, I don't know why. Sorry. I totally lost focus there. But I just sometimes like when I'm focusing on stuff, I'll just like, you know play with my little earrings that are in my ears and I just went to do it and they're not there. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll have to go put some in. I just got two bags of those and I wanted to try some mini peppers. With the cottage cheese. In my cottage cheese and mustard. Oh, work. Like, it honestly sounds so good. I will say I did purchase some cottage cheese and some veggies, but since watching the last two videos and now this one, I realized my veggie selection is not nearly as diverse as hers. But also, I don't love a raw veggie. I don't love cottage cheese. I don't love yellow mustard. So I'm really just trying to do the work for y'all. So please be patient with me. <laughs> 
Uh, got some ricotta cheese. Okay, some work. Garlic. Work. She she talks about also like raw and natural, not processed food, and she could literally get just like cloves of garlic and instead chooses minced garlic in a jar. I know she's not perfect, uh, but here we are. And also the sriracha sauce, you know? <laughs> it's just so funny. She eats like three raw vegetables and thinks she's the, the queen of like, of health and fitness and nutrition. Sriracha. Some oh. uh, sugar-free <laughs> Salted cake. Okay, yep. The, listen, I'm a sugar free fanatic. I love aspartame. Give me all the fake sugars. I don't give a shit. But again, again, she's just going on over here about, about all this un, unprocessed food she's eating and how you don't have to worry about calories as long as you don't eat processed food. And look at her. And that is like as processed as you can get fake sugar and all. Syrup. And then over here is some stuff, some organic coconut unsweetened uh, milk. Milk, yes. Some scallion. Work. Egg. Broccoli. Broccoli. Uh, yeah, that's just Feline's trash. I was like, wait, wait, I don't remember getting this. <laughs> um, Feline is going to be making some jumbo shell Work. pasta, so she got some of that and some sauce. So some of this is Feline's. Like when I do the grocery hauls, um, we do eat kind of differently. So when I do the grocery hauls, I'll do, show some of You do eat kind of differently? Because it literally was just last week again also that you were talking about how fun it was because one night you would cook and Feline would cook the next night and then the next night you would cook. So you don't, y'all aren't eating together anymore. Love that for you. One of the things that she got as well. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to end my fast at Work. 18 hours, which I don't even know how that happened, but it happened. Here we I just are. wasn't feeling that hungry. So here is my food. Oh, she's got, she's got the little baby pickled corns again. She's got the little baby pickled corns again. Also probably processed. Let's see. And the pickle, just the regular pickle. So we're going to do a little taste test of the sweet pepper. Oh, good. I have two because I, I feel like I'm going to like it. I have to um, know. I have to know if you like cheese it. Cheese and mustard. I'm on so pins try. and needles. Ooh, that crunch. Crunchy. That's <laughs> very crunchy. You want to try it? <laughs> oh, you want to try it, baby? Baby? Yeah. Sounds good. There you go. And last night I made a stir fry and I had baby corn in it and I had leftover baby corn. The baby corn is so funny to I'm me. I'm also going to try with the cottage cheese and mustard. So let's give that a go. How is it? Is it everything you wanted? Mm-hmm. 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 That's good too. <laughs> I just still also truly now having watched like four or five videos where she's eating these veggies with cottage cheese and every single one of them. Like, she does not have the same, like, euphoria on her face as, like, nearly any any time I've ever seen her taste a food and like it. <laughs> I just have to be honest with you. Like, she does not have the same joy in her face, which is fine. You, you don't have to, like, love every single food you eat. I'm just, like, not buying this, that she just loves eating this every single day. I just realized I normally have like fruit with this, uh -huh. like half of an apple or some strawberries, and I forgot. That's um, okay though. Oh right, um, so my god! So the rest god. of what I'm having. What will we do? Is carrot, asparagus. I don't need to see you continue to do this Broccoli. every day. The <laughs> radish. These segments have been so annoying. Celery. Green olive with garlic. I don't, I don't need a, an individual bite of every single thing on your plate. I just really don't. Pickle. And of course, chicken sausage. All right, so I think it's time. Let's what? talk about weight loss surgery. Let's so fucking go. I finished go. my 12 sessions. Uh -huh. I was approved by my therapist. I then was approved by my dietitian. And my next step was to meet with the surgeon to talk over everything that I've done and to set a surgery date. I would say it's been over a month where I have felt 
disconnected from weight loss surgery, like I wasn't ready. And uh uh no uh 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 over a month over a month just within the past month you've talked about how excited you were to finish your <laughs> your twelfth therapy appointment so that you could get started on your weight loss surgery journey. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that. Listen, th again, though, also, this is why you can't trust you. Because all you're going to do is come back here and be like, well, opinions change, things change. If you've been feeling this way for a month, why wouldn't you have been open about that when you have claimed that sharing your weight loss surgery journey was very important to you and things like that? No, I'm sorry, but I'm not buying that. That, that you felt disconnected from wanting to get it for over a month. No, no, something else is going on here, girly girl. I, I do not believe it. There is a lot of personal reasons why I chose this uh -huh. decision. Lots I, of personal reasons, things that are going on in my life that I can't discuss or I'm not going to discuss right now or like that are a little vague and I'm, I can't tell. There's things happening offline going on somewhere with somebody that I can't talk about right now. Maybe I'll talk about it sometime, but I can't talk about it right now. Girl, get the fuck out of here. I have chosen to postpone weight loss surgery. I know there's a lot of people no. saying that I was not approved or I was like declined. That is not true. Prove it. Honestly, on honestly, I really, I just really think you're going to have to prove that if you want people to believe it. Because I don't blame anybody for not believing that. This is so silly. This is all you've been talking about for the entirety of 2023 is how badly you wanted it. And now and now just out of nowhere, oh, I've been feeling so disconnected from wanting to get it. So I'm postponing it. I listen, if you if you provide receipts that somehow prove this, I will believe the receipts, but I'm gonna need proof because I'm not buying it. My dietitian, I felt really bad. I explained the situation I'm in you know, the decision I made for myself. And I felt bad because my dietitian replied and thought it was something to do with their clinic. So she like gave me the number to call like the clinic's like head honcho for the lack of a better word here. Um, because she felt like maybe it was something they did. So, you know, if I no. <laughs> wanted to tell them like- I also just like don't believe this story either. I'm sorry. Why, why, would, why would the dietitian think she did something wrong? When she's, like, literally worked with your ass for, for this whole year so far. <laughs> why, I, why, I don't understand why, unless there's something more that you said that you're not telling us. Th that's the other thing. Like, I could envision Amberlynn writing, like, a sassy email that's, like, that seems like she's upset about something. Or maybe she actually did write an email where she was upset and then the dietitian being like, oh, well, I'm so sorry, like, if we, I feel like we did something wrong, like, I'd love to refer you to my supervisor or something like that. But, like, why would she just say that if you were like, oh, I just decided against doing this? It's just, ooh, girl. <laughs> girl, no, 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 no. I experienced, like, what they could fix and stuff like that. And I was like, no, it's something y'all did, you know. It's just a decision that I need for myself and made for myself. There's a lot of personal reasons that this is, made me come up with this decision. I this is also just so silly. Can you imagine how much, because she's paid for all of this out of pocket. Can you imagine how much money she spent on tests, on appointments, on therapy, on all of these things? just to, de to decide on her own, allegedly, that she doesn't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Girl, get fucking real. What? I'm not saying that weight loss surgery is never going to happen. I'm simply saying that it is postponed for now. My for now until when? Even though I have decided to postpone it, that I'm still their patient that she will always be there for me. They will always be there for me. Whatever help I need, whatever guidance I need. And I just appreciated that so much. I was very scared to 
let them know about my de- my decision. Like, even now, I'm just, like, stumbling on my words because I feel so bad about the whole thing. Like, what? And, and why would you feel bad about... If this is a decision that you feel is important to you and your health, why would you feel bad about that? Why would you feel bad about telling them that you didn't want to go... There is something more to this story. There absolutely is. Why, like, it doesn't make sense to me that you would feel bad about this unless there's something more going on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, honestly, truly, I think they just said, like, you haven't done enough work. <laughs> not, not to speculate on it, because obviously, like, we only know what she tells us, but what she's telling us doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense that the dietitian's office would feel responsible for her deciding she didn't want weight loss surgery anymore. It really doesn't. It just does This is so silly. I was putting in a lot of, a lot of hard work trying to get the surgery and I know that a lot of you wanted me to get it but I realized like in my gut that there was a lot of things your gut was telling me not to do it and for a minute there I stopped thinking of myself and I was like thinking of everyone else and how badly everyone wants me to be a success story and I get that but going under for surgery is very scary at my size and minus the other personal reasons why I've chosen not to have weight loss surgery right now, I think the reasons that I am displaying right now, I feel like that is enough. Wait, girly girl. <laughs> I mean, yes, surgery is scary regardless. Like, very scary for everybody. It's obviously a very important decision. But you've already had these conversations on your channel before, and I believe when it's come up in the past, you're like, well, I'm going to, you know, the nation's best uh, weight loss surgery clinic, center, whoever, whatever, I'm getting the best care, and I trust them, and I know it's scary, but this is my life we're talking about, like, my life is important, I'll do whatever it takes to, like, win back my life. It's just like, it's also, it really is irritating because, you know, like I, you know, maybe more than other people, like really, truly am invested in the sense that I would like to see her get better. I don't want anybody in the world, regardless of if, if I like every single bad decision you've ever made or not, like I don't want anybody to like have health problems, you know, be at risk of, of more serious problems or anything like that. And it's just, I, she always finds a way <laughs> to just make me so frustrated, so frustrated. I, and honestly, I feel like at this point, you know, I had at least a little bit of faith that she actually was trying to get to weight loss surgery at the end of all of this regardless of, like, all of the ridiculous steps in between and all the nonsense that's happened. But damn, if she hasn't just wasted her professional's time, her time, wifey's time, her audience's time, my time, talking about weight loss surgery this whole last time. Like, honestly, I think she'd be better off if, if she truly did get denied, she'd be better off just saying she got denied because it sounds so foolish right now that she is trying to make this argument that just out of nowhere she decided to not get weight loss surgery. <sighs> and I feel like I should be validated in the way that I feel. Hopefully my words will not be dismissed. I feel like that's definitely going to happen, but well, I, I finally feel better again. Well, also part of the problem with this is that, you know, if also if you want us to understand where you're coming from, from why you chose now not to get weight loss surgery, you have to actually provide some kind of reasoning for that. And so far you've just said, oh, there's a bunch of personal stuff that's happening that I can't talk to you about. So like, yeah, again, when you're vague about shit, when you, when you don't give all the information, people are going to make up their own, their own thoughts about what happened. I'm sorry to tell you, like what you've said so far does not add up. So people are going to try to start connecting dots. I feel like me again, I am able to see a bright future regardless, regardless. I have been putting work in regardless. That's, like you guys see that. No, Honestly, well, that, no. I'm going to eat this healthy. 
I, I think I saw some level of you trying with therapy, but also I think it's clear from that Destiny live stream call that who you are off camera is way different than who you are on camera, bestie. In a very long time. Let's just say years. <laughs> like the way that I'm currently eating now, I haven't ate this healthy in years. And that is even after... <laughs> saying that I am not ready for weight loss surgery. So That's also so silly, though, because I'm sure you've said that this is the healthiest I've eaten in years within even the past couple of years. So this is just the same song and dance. This is the same song and dance you give every single time you quit something, you fail something, you decide something's not for you. Oh, I just wanted everyone to hear that from my mouth. This literally had nothing to do with being declined for weight loss surgery or not approved because it's actually the opposite, uh, which is I'm sure. kind of mind-blowing. I'm sure. You said, you know what? I don't know if I'm ready. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, I'm so excited. So I'm sure y'all... This is like heard. also, mind you, the same girly who like literally had a meltdown because the dietitian found out that she had said that she had binge eating disorder and not just a food addiction and said, well, if you have a binge eating disorder, our policy is that you have to show signs for a year's worth of time where you are not binging and then you can get approved for weight loss surgery. She had a meltdown when that happened because she was so adamant that she was going to get weight loss surgery in the summer. <sighs> heard about the freaking Stanley Cup or Tumblr or whatever it's called. I think I finally got one. I've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. What what was and the I zoom in on her armpit and there? So let's open her up. Oh I'm so excited. Oh my god, an another tumbler to go with all the other containers she has for water. So I was gonna get it off of Amazon and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it from the real deal website. Wow. So. Not getting something from, from Amazon website. for once. So this is how it's wrapped. Oh, she is beautiful. I have been drinking so much water. And I also haven't water told you guys queen. that I haven't had a soda in almost a week. Oh, it wow. Been a week. I have not touched a single lick of anything. Almost a week? So, this is going to help me get even more... I was like, when did she film that video of her getting the, the icy and the diet soda from McDonald's? But maybe that has been a little more than a week ago. Water in, even though, girl, <laughs> I've had plenty. So, this is the Quencher H2O tumbler, 40 ounces. This is in, like, the rose gold pink one, or, like, cream. Oh, I've been staring at her for months. And for I said, months. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Yes, wow. I am. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Hello. So you guys are currently in my laundry room. She, she's do. so. She always thinks she is so creative when she does these little camera behind a door and she opens it up. <laughs> She really thinks she's always doing something over here. Okay, Greta Gerwig, I see you. Well, I was gonna say I'm about to do a load. I'm in the middle of a load. Always remember. Ooh, I'm me. in the middle of a load. Lifting out a dryer. <laughs> what do y'all know about being in the middle of a load? Between each dry. I didn't even learn that until probably like a decade ago. So of I was like 22. Didn't. Some people don't know that. So. I don't know. Different. I do add quite a few dryer sheets. I have like four. I don't understand time. why. Just makes my clothes smell so good. You only need one at most, but okay, bestie. <laughs> All right, ruin your clothes. You guys, we're in my closet, so that means it's time for a closet clean out. So oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. I, I need to see what you're getting rid of. How will I go on with my life? Let's get rid of some more clothes. And yesterday I only got rid of one, so hopefully maybe like two today, cause that's four Amberlin. Cause I am trying to dwindle down my clothes. That is the goal here. So yesterday, this one, I said it's in the baby pile and I have decided to get rid of it. Okay, I have this work. really cute hoodie. It says on Wednesday, 
We wear pink, definitely keeping it. So you guys know, I have a love-hate relationship with sequins. Sometimes it's <laughs> worth it, sometimes it's not. She she loves and hates sequins, but every single time, every single segment of this in a video always features at least one shirt with sequins. For somebody who hates sequins, she has a shit ton of sequins on shirts. With this beautiful dress, it's worth it, so I'm keeping it. All right, so I'm about to cut an apple, but we got this really cool cutting board where on the inside it's like a cutting board for each thing. Like there's one for chicken, vegetables, fruit, etc. And the yellow one is for vegetables. So I'm about to cut me an apple. So I'm actually just like... Wait, did she not... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I was like hardcore spacing out. But did she not just say that there was one for fruits? Each thing, like there's one for chicken, vegetables, fruits. Yeah, <laughs> she, she, <laughs> so she said there's one for chicken, vegetables, fruit. This one's <laughs> for vegetables. I'm gonna cut my apple on it. <laughs> Like, also, I don't know that it's that big of a difference to cut fruit and veggies on the same cutting board. It's just funny to me that she said that there was one for fruit, and yet she still pulled out the one for veggies to, to cut her apple on. This is why I need this video to end, because that should not be that funny. That should not be that funny to me, but here we are. Etc. And the yellow one is for vegetables. So I'm about to cut me an apple. <laughs> So I'm actually just like thinking and I've had a few people contact me saying like how I'm doing mukbangs again uh -huh. and how I'm eating for the feeders. Uh-huh. And all I can really she, say is She literally had a video. I saw somebody post about this on Twitter. I'm so sorry I don't remember who it was. The way that the for you page works on Twitter these days, I just get all kinds of random people I don't even follow recommended to me talking about Amber Lynn, Chantal, whoever, whatever. But somebody pointed out that, like, one of her titles of a video was literally, like, uh, how much weight I gained, watch me eat, or eat with me, or something like that. If that's not, like, catered to literal, like, feeders, I don't know what is. Trust me, if that was the case, feeders don't want to see me eating carrots. They don't want to see me trust eating Trust her, apples. she knows what feeders want to see. <laughs> They want to see me eating, like, cheeseburgers and chicken nuggets and Chinese food. Uh-huh. And things of that nature. They're not wanting healthy and sure. trust me. They well. get not watching me eat freaking broccoli. I can promise that. And it just goes to show that, like, I feel like I can't even exist as a human being. Oh, so are you are you saying that it's it's triggering you? Because you literally just said in a video, like, two videos ago, that, that you don't have a problem with what people think about the food you're eating when you know you're on track. Because if it wasn't for my weight, me eating the little bit I do on camera, people, like, they wouldn't say a single thing about feeders, but I don't know. It's just frustrating. It's like, it's just hard to exist as someone my size. I just feel like I can't sometimes. I mean, Bestie, like I said, you literally titled a video, How Much Weight I Gained, Eat With Me, or something along those lines. Like, it's, it's the way you're marketing your videos, too, <laughs> Bestie. And it's like, I'm not even eating unhealthy, I'm eating healthy foods. That has just been on my mind. She's so goofy. Swear, when you cut apples and super, like, thin things like this, it feels like so much apple. It's crazy. <laughs> so much. And to continue the conversation, taking a few bites on camera is definitely not a mukbang. So I will stand by that. 
It, um, it, yeah, but I am here to end my vlog. I hope it might not be a mukbang, but again, it's the way that you've been marketing your videos, the thumbnails you've been using. Almost every thumbnail in the past week has included you, like, taking a bite of something. That's, that's where these comments are coming from. And you know, you know that that stuff gets people to click on your videos. Otherwise, you wouldn't use thumbnails like that. You wouldn't title your videos the way that you do. You're, you're not dumb when it comes to how YouTube works, bestie. Hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. What a fucking journey. What a journey. And also, like, I gotta be honest with you. It, it's just, like, also all too convenient that she's trying to shift the conversation to being about her weight loss surgery stuff, too, after all the stuff with Destiny. Like, the fact that she hasn't said anything about it in a video is just interesting to me because, you know, she had no problem addressing all the stuff with Destiny any other time that Destiny came up. I think it's far too convenient that all of this is happening, her lungs, her weight loss surgery, whoever, whatever, on the heels of the stuff with Destiny and the live stream with Destiny. And also, again, she really better hope that that Becky does like value her mental health and decides not to say anything because I feel like that would just even further ruin whatever is left of Amberlynn's reputation on the internet. Anyways, this is a super long video and I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to edit it today. I got uh, to work out with my trader. I got a live stream later. Uh, so thanks so much for watching all the way through if you did. That's all I have time for today. Uh, if you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!